Hello everyone, welcome to this video on this channel. Um, today is a really quick video. Um, I just wanted to share excitement with you about this new release from OpenAI. I just received the email a few hours ago and I was so happy that I decided to kind of share it with uh, everyone here on the channel. So, um, ChatGPT API is actually and finally available so we can use it Finally, I did a lot of video on the channel explaining how to use, for example, Whisper or how to use um, a DaVinci or whatever model. And today we have the most powerful model available. And um, beside all, this model is actually less expensive than DaVinci 3. Um, so I wanted to test it and see if maybe there's a difference in terms of uh, output in term of uh, maybe uh, accuracy or whatever so um, in this video we'll just be going through the API and um, seeing how good is it um, for like some, some simple tasks and how it is structured and also a second good news is that the whisper API is also available um, I think the last video on the channel was about downloading the model on your local machine and uh, running it locally it isn't that expensive I mean you can do it on your local machine but if you want something faster, if you want a more reliable uh, platform to do it, I think they have the API release also. So that is the second good news of the day. Yeah, so let's jump right into it uh, with this um, API. Yeah, I had the time to kind of go through it. Um, I think it's actually in beta, but whatever, beta or not beta, I think it's uh, it will be powerful enough to power, I mean, to, to um fuel a lot of applications so uh let, let's see how um how, how we can use it in our own application as well as in python developers i think for the moment um not you need to be using python okay so i think maybe it is just working with python for the moment and um yeah sorry for other users or not gs users or whatever yeah so um there is some instruction you need to change the way you write the prompt. So here you normally write the prompt because you're kind of creating a conversational based um, chat boot somehow. So you have to change the way you send the data to the backend. So here you have to specify, for example, uh, system, your help for system. Maybe this is kind of a context here, um, maybe saying to the um, chat boot, which for role he will be playing. So after that, you have the back and forth between the user and assistant and then this is a new way of setting up the prompt when you have this gpt um chat gpt api yeah and uh, i test it here and i will show you the difference between both of them so um yeah as usual you have to give your key so that they can get their money yeah of course uh and um yeah i just copy this the same thing so um i wanted to kind of reproduce exactly this with DaVinci 3 and with GPT-3, I mean, chat GPT, of course, chat GPT, and see what can be the difference in terms of output or, yeah. So I will just get the same prompt. You are a hub for assistant. Um, I will put content user, content user, um, uh, user, assistant, user, assistant on um, DaVinci 2 or 3. I think the 3 from GPT-3.5 is actually available also. I think we can test dry to the DaVinci 3 version, um, yeah, and, and see what the difference can be. But I think ChatGPT will be a bit more powerful. I mean, they have a turbo after the 3.5, so maybe it means turbo in terms of um, time or turbo in terms of compilation. We will see, we'll find out. So first, let's just time this to see how fast we can get the response. Okay, the import time. Um, okay. Ah, yes, this is time to time. Okay, I'm just time to time. Okay. Yeah, in zero point five three seconds. Okay. Uh, let's try the same, uh, but this time let's just copy this and paste it in the um, ChatGPT function. 
and we will do exactly the same this um DaVinci. and the only difference here is that we will be using oh okay yeah we will be using davinci hair state so i had this project we had last time i'll just copy the same and uh paste it here so we have kind of the same feel yeah okay so we just have to set up this you are a for assisting Like the change video difference. Uh, that's a bit weird. Uh, we got this one in five seconds, and the result is a bit different. I think. Okay, let's try something else. Um. Uh, but I think the performance depend on the, the lot of factors. But let's see. I will not get this. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Okay, why is it in Los Angeles Dogger's fans start calling the dark world series champions during pandemic? Because they finally found a way to win without a risk of. Why did Dogger win the world series? Because the other team was stuck in the rock. Um, ChatGPT is far more better. Yeah, nothing to say about that. I think ChatGPT for those kind of tasks will be more interesting because you don't really have to care a lot about the prompt and you just have to structure the text the way you want to be interpreted, interpreted somehow. And uh, I think it will understand the context, it will understand what you're trying to do and it will give a far more better response. So um, yeah, the Vinci tree is actually good, but not for this kind of thing. I think this is just like um, for main text, like uh, I don't know, uh, loop generating content, um, or maybe text summarization. Maybe we'll try text summarization also. So we get a long text and ask to those guys to summarize it to see the difference. Wikipedia America. Uh, okay, it's Google. Just get this long text here and uh, it to both of them. So now you are a helpful assistant, okay? Um, no, we don't need this vault here. We just need one pump. This one. Yeah, I think we can see the difference now. Um, we can see that ChatGPT is a bit more faster, I think. Let me try it out again. Okay. Okay, again. Okay. Okay, so for I think for any kind of tax, just CPC API is kind of faster than DaVinci Tree. And let's see the meaning. Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't understand that. Uh, so if you're able to read and see which one's better, do it please and write in the comments. 
But um, I, I think it will not be that different because um, ChatGPT is kind of the Da Vinci model um, made for chat somehow, for chat conversation. So, yeah, it could be the same thing. It could kind of keep the same meaning. And also, uh, there's a bias here because the model depends heavily on the prompt that you give. So maybe with a better prompt, you'll get better output somehow. Yeah, but um, I think, uh, I think maybe I'm wrong there, um, but I think the ChatGPT model is kind of faster than DaVinci Tree model. And um, and yeah, and maybe more interesting for conversational, of course, more interesting for conversational use case. Yeah, so um, I just wanted to share this new API with you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and um, yeah, see you in the next video. Ciao.